There's a video that was recently taken down from Facebook and I think also YouTube, pretty much taken down from a lot of different places. Uh, and we got a fact check here on leadstories.com. I'll leave a link down below. This says fact check video claiming you cannot catch coronavirus is not true. Is it true that you cannot catch the novel coronavirus as a viral video suggests? No, that's not true. Viruses are contagious. The video is filled with inaccuracies and medically false information. Lead Stories reached out uh, to a medical doctor in Atlanta who called the video total garbage. Um, he is an anti-vaccine proponent. He is not a medical doctor, nor does he have a PhD. So right there is all you kind of need to know. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people align themselves on different sides. Some people say, hey, you know what? We're not doing enough. Some people say we're going too far. We're doing too much. Um, there's a lot of arguments on the side of, hey, you know what? All the things we're doing, closing down certain businesses, uh, it's hurting the economy. And uh, I mean, OK, I was planning a sit down with Kenny, just going in detail, talking about all this. It's hard not to, to be honest. It's it's the elephant in the room. It's hard not to talk about it. I mean, I'm trying to kind of, you know, say, stay positive on the channel. I'm trying to start talking about, you know, other things, uh, you know, wrestling. I talked about recently just had a show off Saturday. I got some coming up in a couple hours here about uh, one of our one of our regular e-beggars we talk about here often trying to get, you know, all of our minds off of it. OK. I talk about cons a lot, right? We talk about cons, scam artists here. Consider. This whole thing being a global con, just consider that for a second. All right. Consider that being a possibility. And a lot of people that listen to this guy, Tom Barnett, a lot of people are making that claim that it's all a hoax. It's all fake. It's all just fake news. There is no coronavirus. And I'm not saying that there aren't things out there that are built up. Uh, conspiracy theorists. Hey, I've had some conspiracies on certain things that were uh, actually did not happen, that were made up for different reasons. You know, sometimes these things do happen. but. We're talking about a global scale, not even a country, a global scale. Do you know the kind of fucking coordination it would take to have this be a global fake pandemic? I'm not saying I'm not saying a lot of it could be possibly overblown. I'm not saying that, but it's some level. You have to be fucking messed up in the brain. To actually think that this could be a fake thing, that this could be just a global con. I mean, some people say uh, they're doing it for control, uh, a, a new world order, just out of, out of nowhere. Really? Out of nowhere? Like, yeah, like like all the countries just got together and they had a global meeting, right? I mean, this shit sounds like a plot of some movie or like... Uh, Man, I mean, the possibilities of that being the case, I mean, really stop and think about it. The global coordination that would have to take place. OK, again, I hear a lot of people out that think we're we're overblown. We're going crazy with a lot of this stuff. We're stressing out too much. I understand it. But just to say it's like a slap in the face you know, to the people that actually have passed away and the people that actually have had the virus to say that it does not exist or, hey, it's just a flu. It's just a cold. This motherfucker, Tom Barnett, really, is this the guy? Is this the guy you all want to praise? Not even a fucking doctor? Really? Is this the guy? Seriously, man. The thing is, debunking this guy is pretty easy. I'm not going to do it. OK, lead stories here consulted with Dr. Thomas Walker, and he's going to do it. Now, he said that uh, his logic is that a virus is not a live organism. And because it's not a live organism, it cannot be contagious. For instance, look at hepatitis. If it were contagious, how come it's just affecting the liver and not the brain and not the heart? And if it's uh, confined to one organ in your body, do you really think it can go between two people, let alone two species? It's just complete nonsense. That's what he says. Now, Walker said to that, while it is true that a virus is not a live organism, whether or not an agent is alive is irrelevant to the ability to be contagious. 
Walker offered several examples of viruses that are all contagious, including HIV, chickenpox, shingles, and herpes. For instance, if someone has unprotected sex with another person who is HIV positive, he or she can catch HIV. Another example, infectious mono, I can't even say that word, mononucleus, which is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus, has been commonly known as the kissing disease because teenagers can unknowingly transmit through saliva. Here's the thing, I understand it. I understand there's a lot of people out there that wish and they hope that this all thing is just a hoax. There's people like myself who feel, I mean, I kind of feel that there is a lot of people going absolutely crazy about this. People, you know, acting like it's the end of the world, the apocalypse, when in all honesty, you know, here in America, I think probably by August, the worst of this thing might be past. Okay? But there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of things I don't know. I mean, like a lot of you, I'm just trying to do my best just to get through every single day. Yeah, sometimes I see those stickers on the floor, places telling you to stay six feet apart. But I kind of want to do my part. Okay, I want to do my part, even if it is an over-exaggeration. Okay, I want to do my part here. Um, and I think it's just reckless. It is reckless by a lot of people to try to look up to this individual and say that this whole thing is a, a global hoax. Like, it's all a hoax. It's all a scam. That's just messed up, man. That's just messed up. Because, like I said, um, and I'm a person that calls out hoaxes and scam and, and scam artists and things like that, it's much more likely that there's an initiative for people to get on YouTube or to get on and actually take the other side of the argument to get views, to get attention. There were people that joked about it, you know, early on, Rudy Gobert, weeks ago, the basketball player. He was at a press conference, you know, joking about it, touching all the mics and everything. But then he got it. And then we found out more NBA players had it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I guess all the NBA players there, they're in on the scam, I guess. It's all a scam. There's no virus, right? It's, you know, come on. Stop with this bullshit. Just stop with this bullshit, okay? Just because you don't know anybody that has coronavirus or you don't have it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. All right. I think a lot of people are just they want things to go back to normal really quickly. I think a lot of people just wish and they pray and they look up to false prophets like Tom Barnett here, who in all intents and purposes looks to me like a fucking huckster. They look up to people like this because they just they want to believe they want to believe it's a scam they want to believe it's a hoax now if this were something that maybe only a handful of people got a handful of people okay maybe a possible scam but we're talking about a lot of people here a lot of people here could it be possible that the numbers are being fudged Maybe, you know, there's claims that more people have it than actually do. Possibility. Possibility. Could it be that this is being pumped up for different reasons across the world? Possibility. Possibility. Okay? So I'll hear you out. I'll hear certain arguments out. But to say that this does not exist, that's just fucking stupid and it's irresponsible and it's reckless.